Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is the Moonstone Mamas. My name is Devin. And if this is your first time here with me today, hi, hello, how are you? I got asked the other day, what stones make the cut? Well, there's a video. Here it is. So this is a constant work in progress. I'll go ahead and show you what I have here. I have these, uh, these two larger stones up here I use as bookends. First one I have here is an ammonite with some amylite. This is like an opalized ammon ammonite, 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 ammonite. Then I have this crazy, stunning, druzy agate. Really, really absolutely gorgeous. I use these two as bookends and uh, you may notice there's a little bit of space. I've got books scattered throughout the house just for quick quick reference. This was one of the first um, pieces, larger pieces that I ended up purchasing. Um, I ended up getting that one on a whim. So really excited about that. That's just like a purple dyed agate. Um, they're not in any general order, my stones. I guess I just have them. I always come in here and fiddle with them. So they're never stationary. Uh, so this this may this setup may look familiar because this is normally where I do my live auctions. Um, so I got this guy recently. Total nostalgia on that one. SpongeBob SquarePants carved out of rose quartz. Had to, absolutely. Uh, you may notice a lot of these stones um, I have gotten from Mr. Jim. Um, I gotten some other ones from various areas, but um, you know. I give credit where credit is due. Mr. Jim's got some killer stones. This guy is a Jasper Freeform, Ocean Jasper. I fell in love with the greens. You may notice there's probably a lot of greens in here. Uh, greens really draw me in. I got another Jasper Agate Freeform. Um, I get Buddhas uh, because Buddhas really remind me of my son. I have a little setup here. Um, where I have like, I don't know, I have this to the side, like this little guy reminds me of my son, and then I have this little chick who reminds me of my daughter, and then I have this little pin, uh, it's like a vintage pin that's like a homemakers association, I had to get it, it's a vintage little little pin with the, with the house, I just thought it was really cute. So a lot of this stuff representative of me, um, you know, of my, my family and things that bring me happiness, and that's what it's supposed to be. Um, so this is a bismuth Buddha. I love the big belly Buddha. Like I said, it reminds me of my son. Um, see such a chunky chunker steam. Um, this is one of the first Malachite pieces. Um, this was actually gifted to me, uh, from my mom. This is Malachite and Chrysocolla. So that's a beautiful piece there. Um, this is Malachite and Azurite. The beautiful raw form on that one. This is a super seven stone, a uh, super seven stone. I definitely encourage you to look that up. This is a really killer one. I thought that this was just amethyst. Um, I ended up getting this from Josephine from stone muse. Who's that? Um, definitely encourage you to look that up. I got this amethyst, um, point from Mr. Jim. Really beautiful specimen there. Again, I got another little Buddha. Um, and then I ended up getting this one. This one was actually gifted to me uh, by another YouTuber. This is some um, Azurite and Malachite. Okay, so I also got this humongous chunk um, of blue goldstone from Mr. Jim. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it too well. It is a dark blue goldstone and there's a whole bunch of glitter in it. You guys can see. Um, this one was just speaking to me, so I had to. Um, I ended up getting this little chunk of um, lapis lazuli from Jenny in the mail as a total surprise. This is like a token of our friendship. This lapis is a symbolism of friendship, and I thought that that was the sweetest thing ever, so it's right there. Um, I ended up getting this uh, labradorite. Um, this is a half-polished, half-unpolished. What I like about this one is there is a, a little bit of a high point on it. So the flash really moves with it. So this is a fluorite uh, that I actually got from my mom. This is a purple fluorite. Let me show you there. Um, but I broke it. 
And so I think broken things have a special place as well. So that's right there, sticking right there. And then I put my Labradorite right here. Um, this is constantly moving. Um, so one day it'll be in one spot, the other day it will be in another. So down here on this second shelf is a lot of my spheres, different specimens, and towers, as you can see. Um, just a quick scan here. I'm going to pick up some of the ones that I really like to show you, uh, like this one that didn't last long, did it? This is Azurite. It is a half polished, half unpolished. Love that. Um, I got a Caribbean calcite tower. This is one of the biggest towers that I own. I got it from Mr. Jim. Has beautiful druzy pockets in there. I'm going to shine it towards the natural light so you guys can see. This is a stunning one. Always wanted a Caribbean calcite. Just because of the way the striations form on it literally looks like a seashore. Love it. Um, this back here is a jar of double terminated points and selenite sticks. Um, I keep this back here. Um, kind of start like a little collection of that. And dun dun dun, my malachite. Um, I got these two specimens from Mr. Jim. This happens to be the first uh, malachite specimen that I've purchased. Um... And I'm really pleased that I got it from Mr. Jim. I love all of the eyeballs on this one. And they're sitting on top of mercury glass here. And a little backstory about mercury glass. These were actually in my wedding. So um, these were on my table for my wedding. Um, this is a second piece of malachite, one of my most recent purchases from Mr. Jim. This has some rough segments. This has beautiful eyes. Um, you know, I come in here and I play with um, the stones, so they're never usually in one place for too long. I like to touch them. Uh, in the center here, I have my selenite, um, like cake tower, charges all of my crystals here. Um, I've got my two moonstone single points. Um, I've got my crinoid jasper. I love finding a new stone and then like the universe kind of sends it your way. Um, got a really awesome opportunity to purchase that one and I had to pick it up. This other side, um, this is a strawberry quartz. Really beautiful, deep, dark, uh, purple, pink. This is a terminated quartz. I love tourmalated quartz. Um, Tourmaline and any other dark uh, crystal um, helps repel negative energy. And for those of you who may not know, um, the metaphysical quartz is a magnifier. So this one right here um, helps amplify and repel negative energy. Amplify your repellent of negative energy. So I love that one. Um, how light here. I love undyed how light. So stunning. Bumblebee Jasper. Love it. Stones have to speak to me. <laughs> Probably sound like a big old weirdo, but they speak to me and you get like a flutter in your chest and you know it's got to come home to you. Tiger's Eye. I love the awkward. I love the misshapen. I love the broken. I think they all deserve a home. Um, this one right here shoots off beautiful rainbows. Just a clear quartz. It doesn't matter the size for me. It's the impact that they give me. I have a beautiful rutilated quartz. I want to get one with some copper rudel. Um, starting from my spheres over. This is a star uh, rose quartz. And um, it's kind of finicky sometimes. It'll show me the star and sometimes it will. It kind of just depended on the light. Um, but there's a star in there. I got a beautiful red tiger's eye. And you may hear me say beautiful a lot because this is my, uh, this is my personal collection. <laughs> Um, I have a stunning, and this is the first time I've ever seen a stone like this and I fell in love with it. Um, for those of you who might have seen my jewelry making chronicles, I take a lot of inspiration from eyes. And this stone right here is called Thousand Eye Jasper. It's a beautiful neutral gray um, and it's got all sorts of eye shapes all over it. I had to have this one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I got a little honey calcite sphere here and I love these. These are onyx. Onyx little dice. They're not little, they're big. I have them stacked here. I usually have them stacked with the number three. This three is pretty, uh, pretty good number for me. Um, I have this one right here, which is a uh, citrine rough point with some smoky in it. 
gorgeous beautiful the way that this is cut it shoots off rainbows uh, it is stunning this is a really clear smoky quartz on the other side I have some iron eye this is a heavier one so I'll have a sticker on it like a noob and then take that off <laughs> here it is a little egg and then I have a sardonyx I love the lines in this one beautiful in the center here, I have a little hand with another little malachite piece. Zoom in a little bit closer. I have a little druzy star, a little bumblebee crescent moon, a rainbow chakra, a little moon face, and a little tiki dude. Um, so that's pretty much my second shelf. Lot, lot, a lot of here. And then, boom, here's my third shelf. Um, as you can see, my other shelves are a little bit still, uh, still a work in progress. So we'll go through this one a little bit. In the back here, I got this rough amethyst. And to me, it kind of looks like a, stung, a tongue sticking out like, Nuh. so I love this one. It speaks to me. It's on top of a petrified wood stump, really. Um, love that. Um, I've got a few jumpers, a few jumpers and some rough specimens. This one's kind of like my rough specimen as I pick up. Sorry about the ride there. Um, my rough specimen uh, spot. i got to find a place to put that. Okay. So um, I've got some, what do I got back here? This is a smoky quartz. This is like a peacock ore with an aura coating. Um, rhodonite, uh, rhodochrosite, and then a crazy lace agate, and then some howlite here. Um, I've got another, this is an orthoceris bowl. Love this bowl. Um, I've got in here a uh, red tiger's eye. I've got a um, rose quartz heart, a aura coated rose quartz, a blue calcite sphere, a quartz sphere, appetite palm stone, and a dyed quartz pink and blue. Also, you may have noticed this is really, this came to me. Uh, it was a free gift, but um, it couldn't be more special as I have a girl and a boy, so pink and blue. Um, I thought that that was really special. I have this other hand here. Um, as you may notice, there's a theme of eyes and hands. I just, I'm drawn to what I like, I guess. Um, in here, I have a couple of fun goodies. I've got a crescent moon druzy. I've got a sterling silver malachite pendant. Can't seem to get myself to put it on a chain and wear it. Quartz chakra pendant, my first ever wire wrap in Labradorite's the Tree of Life. Um, I've got an Azurite little little malachite raw. Um, I've got a Shungite sphere, and with that Shungite sphere, I got a little Shungite Buddha. Again, reminds me of my son, so I purchase it. Um, I got a bubblegum pink reminiscent of my daughter because that's literally if her soul had a color that would be it um a blue tiger's eye do you want me to move and i've got a peter sight here peter sight sphere really beautiful and then i've got this like elongated alien skull sodalite skull um i've got e I've got this little malachite sphere. I'm working my way up, guys. Eventually, I'll get a bigger one, but that's that's what I got for the time being. And like I mentioned, all of these are not set in place. I move them around. I touch them. I ended up getting this. Um, tourmaline was one of the first stones that really spoke to me in the metaphysical. I must have needed it or something. I saw the price tag on it like a doof. But um, this is a huge chunk I had purchased from actually my local crystal store. Um, and I ended up getting this one as well. Love the, um, tourmaline. So that's a beautiful one right there. Um, I got this one from Mr. Jim. This is kyanite on the raw, beautiful blue kyanite. Everywhere you look on this one is just beautiful. This is a really awesome prize to have. Um, so like I mentioned, I got a lot of <laughs> my stuff from him. And this is my Labradorite Moonstone corner here. 
Um, I got my wizard protecting it. Love wizards. Um, I've got quite a bit of labradorite. Um, I've got black moonstone and a palm stone, black moonstone and a bigger palm stone. I have my little labradorite worry stone here sitting with a beautiful peach moonstone. Got a little I've got a little <laughs> Labradorite turtle. Um, and another fun fact about my wedding, um, I actually had turtles as a cake topper in my wedding. So um, this is another really fun uh, symbol for me. I have a beautiful blue moonstone. Moonstone comes in all shapes, sizes, and colors full uh, blue flash to it it's absolutely stunning um and then i've got this one so i knock over everything um just the tip flashes on this one look at that love that so much labradorite um i've got a hand holding a labradorite and then i've got um the stackies here i've got a labradorite cube a labradorite palm stone and i usually have <laughs> the labradorite heart stacked on top of that but you know chaos constantly so guys, this is just my ever growing, as you can see, I still have some more over here that I need to add to it, especially this beautiful specimen of raw malachite that I have most recently purchased from Mr. Jim. Check out the velvety deliciousness on that. It is a self standing. I just need to find a place for it. A couple of other ones that I have that I just literally have not had the time to put up. Um, like this guy right here, another Buddha. <laughs> so uh, anyways, this is my collection. This is my uh, ever-growing collection, I guess I should mention, and some of my favorites. Some stuff is floating around my house. Some stuff hasn't made it in here yet, but that's okay. But um, I just wanted to show you guys what I had, what makes a cut for me, and uh, hope that this inspires you to reach out and find some stones that may not be your color, but maybe speak to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't already and you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, hitting the thumbs up if you liked this video, uh, and let me know in the comments down below which one of my favorites was your favorites. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.